Hey guys, it's Brandy. I'm here to do a project share. Um, just a few scrapbook layouts that I've been working on over the past couple days. Um, wanted to share those. Um, I've been working on a few other things that I can't share yet, so um, I can't show those yet. But um, I also got a lot of my Christmas stuff out, so I'm trying to work on some Christmas projects. And then I have some more mini albums I need to start on and work on. Uh, for um, a couple orders and all that good stuff so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and hop on and share the scrapbook layouts um, I made these oh I didn't paint my nails before this <laughs> sorry um, usually I like to paint my nails all pretty or something but uh, yeah these um, were like the first scrapbook layouts I've done kind of since my grandma's have passed and uh, a couple tears were shed uh, the past couple nights um, working on these but um, we made it through it and I tried to make these bright and colorful and cheery um, it's definitely hard doing scrapbook layouts of loved ones that have passed um, so yeah that's been kinda rough but um, anyways I've mainly used the sticker sheet and the paper from the Chamel Glitter Girl project pad that I got from Tuesday morning. Um, it's super cute and um, comes with like all those different designs of paper. Actually, here you go. Um, if you guys can, I'm not sure. Hold on, let's see. Here's some of the paper that's in it. Super cute designs. Plus you get two sticker sheets. Plus cut aparts. You get an alphabet cut apart. And then you also get these that you can cut these images out if you want. You get um, another cut apart here. So super cute. I used a lot of it. Sorry. Um, trying to do this. Here we go. Alright. Yeah, I used a lot of the paper. Like this, I cut a couple things out of this. And then used some cut aparts, used some of the stickers. Used a lot of the stickers on here. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop on and share that. Um, I was just working on some pictures. This one, I just, I just grab. I don't have like a particular order. I used to go try to go in order, but. Now I just kind of grab pictures as I go and whatever inspires me, whatever I feel like scrapbooking. So these aren't in any particular order. So I grabbed these. These ones I printed out recently. Um, my daughter and I play in Candyland. Uh, she won. She beat me. So and then I did some journaling down here. And then this was a cut apart in that paper pad. So super cute layout. And that was another cut apart in the layout. And then I just matted them on some purple. I have like a pretty simple type, I've noticed with my um, scrapbooking, I have a pretty simple type uh, layout. I usually map my photos, place them on the paper, I don't do anything crazy. Um, I'm trying to change things up and try to do things differently and try to do a little more with my layouts. And um, I try, I also do not like negative space, I don't know what it is. But I always like try to fill things up. I don't know why. I just don't like negative space. I feel like it needs more. And then I add more and then I'm like, oh, it looks too crowded. So I don't know. It's just a, just a pain sometimes. But um, definitely enjoy this hobby. And then I started working on some of her birthday layouts, like pictures from her second birthday. Um, I know I've worked on these before because I remember making layouts for these. I could have sworn. I made a layout for these. So um, I've had these pictures, so I went ahead and did these. These are of the park that we went to with my mom uh, for her birthday, for my daughter's birthday. We went to the park, and she got to go down a slide by herself, which did not end well. She <laughs> ended up, she went down a curvy slide. She ended up hitting her head on the way down on the side of the slide. She was way too young yet. She didn't quite know how to go down a slide yet, so... <laughs> We tried, but she was fine, and then we went to Steak and Shake afterwards, and she got to see a choo-choo train, which choo-choo trains were her favorite. Steak and Shake, of course, we had ice cream, so she had a good old time, especially with Grammy. She loves her Grammy. 
So yeah, there's the layout I did of that, and I used some stickers from the sticker sheet here. And then on this one, what I like to do with a lot of my stuff is I go around it with pen, so it kind of brings it out and makes it bold. And then here is of her birthday party. Um, this is my mom and my grandma, and they're cleaning up my daughter. And then she gets shy whenever we sing happy birthday to her. And then this is a sticker that I had in my stash that I decided to use on the layout. And same with these, these were just in my stash. And then I had some tags um, that I decided to use. And then I used some washi, some um, like sprinkle type washi. I don't know if you guys can see that really. But yeah, and then I used some string right here. So yeah, that's her eating a cupcake. And then I did this layout here. Um, this is of, I have like a photo booth. What I do is I take like a foam piece, a uh, foam board from Dollar Tree and I cut a square out and it's not always perfect. I just kind of wing it. And then I put her name and I put like what birthday, second, third, and all this stuff. It would probably be easier if I just got a frame and just redid it every year. But um, this just is cheaper and um, it's just an easy solution. So then I just blinged it out with some gems and stuff and then put Brooklyn's second birthday. And I put on here some stickers, which these I had in my stash. Um, these were kind of part of a sticker set I think I got at Hobby Lobby, I believe. But yeah, and then these photo props I got at a garage sale um, for like a dollar. There was like a bag of them that was brand new and it was photo props for like a dollar. So heck yeah. There's that one. And then this one is of my brother. Um, he, he didn't catch the balloon fast enough. And our fan was on. And so the balloon got caught up into the fan. So he hurried up and ran over to the door to shut off the fan. And my daughter was like freaking out. So um, did this layout with that. But that was funny. And ever since then, my daughter hates it when the fan turns on. If the fan is on and she has a balloon, she freaks out thinking it's going to get caught. So, and then more photo booth um, type pictures. Um, this is my other grandma, my grandma Schaefer that passed, uh, holding my daughter. Um, she didn't get a photo booth picture. We did these towards the end of the party, and she ended up leaving early uh, for another get-together. But, and then this is my sister-in-law and my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law is being silly, and then my parents are being silly, so a lot of fun. We always have fun when we get together. And then here's my sister-in-law, my husband's sister, and her fiancé, Dustin. And I shared some, or I put some, like, rainbow, or iridescent, like, uh, oh, uh, unicorn trim on here. And then I used some stickers from the sticker sheet on this. But um, she was helping my daughter get the balloons, and he was tickling her, and she was getting a hug. Uh, we don't get to see them very often, so it took her a little bit to warm up to them. But um, she definitely loved Dustin. She was giving him a big old smile. So, yeah. Super cute. And then this one, I did a piece of cardstock here, and then I cut some of it off, and then put another piece of cardstock here. And then I took some ribbon that I had. I believe I got this at a grad sale. Um, and I put some like glue dots behind it to keep it in place. And then glued on the back of it with some art glitter glue. I use this on like all of my layouts. And this stuff is amazing. Like I don't know what it is. Because I used to, like I said in my other video, I used to use this. But it just makes these feel so much like sturdier. I don't know why. It just feels sturdier. So, and then I used these uh, letters I had uh, kind of in a tote. It says Bouncing Fun. And then uh, this princess, uh, this heart die is from Alena Craft on AliExpress. And then the princess stamp, uh, I'm not sure. I think I got that at a grad sale or I got it at like one of the dollar bins or something like that. Something cheap. And then here's that heart die again, and I just, I had some pieces left over, and I just had them kind of thrown into a bin, and I just decided to use them. 
because I'm trying to use more of my scraps. Uh, I have my scraps now in an open bin behind me, uh, two open bins, because I have way too many scraps. And I've actually been using my scrap papers a lot more, so here's hoping I can get it down to one bin. That is my goal. One bin. But it's going to take me a while. <laughs> And then here's this layout here. I kind of used some of these like sayings and stuff like that that I had in like a tote. Um, I think I got a bunch of them in like a baggie at like a garage sale or something like that. And then I used my punch. I got this punch at Hobby Lobby. It's a one that you can use in the middle of a page um, on clearance. And I decided to try it out and I used it on one of the uh, papers in the packet. So again, lots of fun. Again, I tried to use bold colors. Oh, and something else that I did on this. Um, so I had some pink left over from the previous layout and I had some of this flower paper left over from this layout too. So this pink and this blue, this flower blue paper. So what I did is I glued those together and then I glued a piece of blue together with it that I had in my scraps. And then it still wasn't 12 by 12 so I kind of glued some white behind it. Like a white piece of scrap. Here I'll show you. Which actually it was green but on the back side it was white. So I just kind of pieced them all together to make a 12 by 12 layout. And it worked out. Because it's just going to be in a sheet protector anyways. No one's going to see the back. So, and then here's another scrapbook layout with us. We took a lot of pictures with the photo booth thing. It's always a lot of fun. So, and then my daughter, when my dad came back from dropping my grandma off um, at the other get-together, she was pretty excited that he came back. And then we decided to get some pictures with our moms because I've been... I've been having her birthday party around Mother's Day, usually like the first week in May, weekend of May, or the second weekend of May. Uh, that way, because my grandma would come back from Florida during that time. So I tried to aim her birthday party around that time so that my grandma could come. That way uh, she wouldn't be uh, missing out. So, um, yeah, so it was like Mother's Day weekend. So we had to get pictures with our moms. This is my brother and I giving my mom a kiss. So, absolutely love it. My mom is definitely one of my best friends. She's pretty awesome. And then here's the picture of my husband and his mom and his sister doing the same thing. And then again, I used some stickers from the sticker sheets. There, did some journaling. This is my sister-in-law, my brother's wife. And uh, I took a picture of them taking a picture. <laughs> because I'm a nerd like that. And here is my husband uh, playing a board game, which he was super excited because I don't get into board games a whole lot. And he's big into like the, I call them geeky, nerdy type board games, but they're the ones that are um, like elves and dragons and knights and battles and all this stuff. I don't know. Um, they're a lot of fun and it's fun to watch him do them but, and play and everything. Um, so, and I find this stuff kind of cool. I just don't get into playing them a whole lot. I guess I just don't have patience for it. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so he got to play with his sister and his brother, soon-to-be brother-in-law one of these years. Um, so that was cool. He was super excited that he got someone to play with. And then lastly, this page here, I took some lace that I had in my stash. I believe this is from Dollar Tree, this lace. And I uh, put a, glued it down onto this paper, and I use this art glitter glue, and it's holding like really well. So I absolutely love that stuff. And then I used a journaling card, and then I messed up, so I covered it with some washi. When you mess up, you can always cover it up with an embellishment or tape or anything like that, which is nice. So and again, these are cut aparts, and then I just kind of put pen around them. So yeah, those are my projects that I wanted to share, my scrapbook layouts. Um, I typically share them on Instagram and stuff, and I usually don't share them on YouTube. But I decided to start doing that a little bit more. So um, I hope you guys like these videos, and definitely subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below. 
and thank you guys for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And I love all the feedback that I'm getting. Uh, love your comments and keep them coming. And I hope I can do some more videos for you and more projects for you. I've been in my craft room a lot more lately. So hopefully I can get a lot more done for you guys to see. So hope you guys have a good Halloween. Uh, we're going out to a trick or treat tomorrow, hopefully. My daughter's been acting like she's going to get sick here soon. Fingers crossed one finger, uh, that she does not get sick. I really hope she doesn't. So, um, hopefully she'll be able to enjoy it because she gets to be Moana this year. She loves Moana. So, again, guys, I will talk to you guys later and have a safe and wonderful week. Bye, guys.